What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius. We are back at it again with 86 episodes 19 and 20. The first one is called Stay This Way Forever. Don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. You can also watch this live and uncut with us over at Twitch, twitch.tv slash Darius. Links for everything are going to be in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out all the other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this. 86 episodes 19 and 20 the first one is called stay this way forever uh, okay all right here we go look at all those troops he's hearing kiria's voice it's exactly where it left off yeah she did say that turning is not this baby's thing okay Grete. okay Yes, I like that. Let's not sacrifice Greta out here. I like her too much. I also respect her. She's fought in her fair share of battles as well. I, I hope she made it. It did not look good. It looked like she was kind of leaning down and didn't land so efficient. I, I'm praying she made it. We were able to successfully land these two platforms. We got our juggernauts. Uh, I'm still holding out hope because we didn't see it. This show is not afraid to show us her body, but if that is how she went out, you were one of the most real ones, Grite. Yeah, they're probably thinking worst case scenario. This missing damn near just started, it feels like. Look at him, we're taking him out pretty well though. But we're getting there, we are approaching target. This is so goddamn intense. I don't even know what to think. Anything could happen at any time. That's the real gun? I mean, it, it did sustain heavy damage and they were repairing it, right? And it was gonna take, what, like a month for it to be re-operational? That is ginormous. What's crazy is I saw a real life video of a real life railgun and it blew my mind. It makes so much sense how dangerous this thing is. That's Kiri, yep. Oh my god, here we go. Yeah. Yep. That thing is actually ginormous. The one thing I definitely saw in the video is that it said railguns require so much power to use that that's when it becomes like unrealistic in our real life world obviously it makes sense here but look at that this is like some this is crazy and it is working it did look beat up just a second ago so did it finish repairs was this all a ploy i don't think so that thing really looks like an that thing is crazy looking and it was all a ploy. Look at you all. The way they animated that was insane. And the way they're animating this is. Yeah, if I'm Ernst or anyone else, I'm. I'm thinking it's wraps. Yep, they lured you out right where they wanted you and your best attackers, too. <laughs> Ernst is putting his foot down. I respect it. That's one thing I respect about Ernst, but it's so different than what normally I hear when it comes to anime. Normally, the resounding consensus is that the person who wins the war is the person who's willing to sacrifice the most and it's a horrible way to put it and it's a horrible sentiment in and of itself but it is very like historically accurate and it is you know a thing for a reason but ernst is saying if we were to go that way we better we might as well be dead so he's upholding his his ideals to the all the way till the end and i respect that it's just it's just interesting it's crazy
Really? Okay, and we have surveillance back up too. Look at the devastation from that one shot. Literally insane. Get into position. This is it. You played your trump card, but it is it. Now we move out into position. Now we we attack. No face to Pale Rider. So I'm assuming Pale Rider is Kiri right here. Obviously, he's getting current instruction. But who is he? Like, who's the head up? Who's the higher up? And then this is when they just fired. So this is just a, like they love doing the different POVs for different times. He fires his defense system. The look of his railgun is so insect like. It's so interesting. So they were talking about Shin specifically. He was the one codenamed Belager. Okay. I see. I see. Shin, you better start giving these boys commands. Shin, don't get into this mode again where you don't even hear anything. He is defying orders? Can they do that? I didn't think Legion could do that. Like, look at his face. I love how it's like glitching from normal to being just filled with hatred and rage. Like, no wonder he's not accepting the orders. And it was Raiden or one of them who shot on Shin to stop him from. They're like, Re like, this is so interesting. This is so crazy. I didn't think Legion could even do what he just did but i guess he's part legion part brain you know and a brain can defy yeah shin i get you have a personal very personal reason for going in on him but you're you're the squad needs you you know <sighs> i liked him as a, as a subordinate so i don't think it's gonna be like greta yeah look at their faces they know he's not gonna make it but we got to keep pushing forward. Oh, man. This show is so depressing. It really is. You really did have a special relationship with Frederica. So seeing that flag triggered a whole bunch of memories. Just like he is. Oh my god, time since mission began, five hours? We were already super deep into Legion territory, but now we're following it even deeper? Valid point. It's life or death, though. I, I actually respect that. I feel like I'd like to think I'd be the same way. Like, if it's something that needs to be done, like, might as well try. Leaving to live to die tomorrow, this, uh, I like it. I knew she wasn't dead. They didn't show her body. That's my girl. Let's go, Grete. Spider Woman. The Black Widow who stays in the Legion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. There's some backstory there. There's some, there's some, okay. I love how, I love the world building. Like, we don't need to actually know. We don't need to go into that, but. Frederica? Who is it? I mean, it's a good, it's a good way to blackmail. Like, okay, you guys won't come home. You guys are willing to commit suicide damn near on the battlefield. Are you guys going to do that with a little girl with you too? Come on back home. Yeah, 
come find where we are. That's what I was assuming he was telling her to do, was to end them, but obviously he wouldn't want her in the front lines like that. <laughs> Metaphorically and physically. That's funny. Now it's been 10 hours. <sighs> we are, like, it's been, it felt like we're building up to a climax like seven episodes in a row, but we're, we really are building up to some shit. All right, on to episode 20. This one is called Together Unto Death. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. Ryan's looking out for him. He hasn't literally not been, you know, you're not listening, you're not giving orders, you know, what's going on, so I, 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 I get it. He's like, I'll do this on my own. Damn. He's just being cold, you know? And he's doing what Raiden's saying. He's not opening up at all. And of course, that's just going to piss Raiden off more. I can't blame him. I need him to fully open up, you know? I like that, even though they're two separate, their shadows are together, you know? It's a great shot. Oh, and then I move. Oh, just the shadows, I like that. Don't try to fight in your own, Shin, we're together. You know, all main characters who are, like, the leader of a group like this doesn't want to lead them into death, that cares about them, goes through this Harry Potter, you know? <laughs> I know. What are you doing, Karina? That was okay. Touche. It's a valid point. Yeah, I get it. Those things dwell. And with how we saw a couple episodes ago, the after credit scene, yeah, it looks like I don't know what's going on with Magnolia, but it really does look like that with a wilted flower. Such symbolism. I sure hope she's. There's no way she's dead. My girl Lena's still out there. <laughs> Alright, Theo. That's funny, Frederica. He actually does. That's kind of harsh, but damn. Frederica tells it like it is. You are a great sniper. Ugh. He was saying they were the best choice for it, but not as in like a suicide, like prevent, you know. Okay, you should. I was confused on some of their motivations, as if like some of them were okay with, with them dying, but some of them wanted them to die. But I like his response. Okay, I mean, smoke was smoking in here. I'm glad they survived, though. I was worried about him dying when he was uh, defending the line when they were leaving. Yeah. 
I always respect old characters like this. Come on. <laughs> the shot has been crazy, like a singular one shot from all the way there, like horizontally, you know? We're still going. Shots are crazy. That is San Magnolia, right? With that flag and that statue. Are we going through the Republic right now? He's seeing visions and memories. Thirty-six hours after the operation started. <laughs> it's crazy, they really don't even know. <laughs> of course it did. That sucks. It's crazy how in certain animes and certain people in real life, like that's such a big deal for them. I guess I take it for granted living on the actual coast of my country, you know? I can go see the sea. It's like a half an hour drive to go see the sea, but it's crazy. The advice to the north, too. Yeah, it is crazy. You have tropical seas, arctic seas. Not knowing any of that, you know. It reminds me of Attack on Titan. I'm talking about what's outside the walls. Oh, they're all separated. He's by himself over there. And then the... Jesus, man. This is... <laughs> Seeing that insect go from dead to literally being eaten alive as carcass is just depressing. It really feels like he's trying to leave. He's trying to dip him. Yeah, it is interesting pondering the deep questions and motivations, you know. They are ghosts, most definitely, but... Curious, what is the Legion's motivation? <laughs> they are just robots. I don't even know how that must feel, not wanting anything, you know? Yeah, you wanted freedom, right? You had something you desired. No, yeah, it was. Jesus Christ. With the way he's talking, I, I get what he's saying. That was his only tangible goal, was his brother. And now he doesn't have anything. <laughs> yes. そなたが応じてくれたから霧を解放してやれる。棒では <laughs> Yeah. But he says no. I like Frederica for going out of her way to try to be a support system for him, a rock, you know, an anchor. I'm... And he's such a good person, so it's so sad to think that he feels this way and he's like this, you know? I, is there, I wish there was something we could do to change his perspective and make him want something, you know? With a shooting star up there as well. 
October 11th, two more days, or possibly the next day, depending on what time. The time has been going real quick. That's a lot of Legion. <laughs> Creepy as hell. And we're just going to leave it on that smile? Okay. Okay, Kiri, you can stop smiling like that. Okay, it's even worse. I did not think that, especially once getting to this point, that the internal mental struggles would be such a such a predominant issue that we're dealing with. And like, I wonder what like actual war veterans or people with PTSD and other and other issues and symptoms and, and problems after seeing combat or seeing war, what they would think of this portrayal of that? Because like it's so it's so deep and it's so realistic, but I just haven't personally gone through anything like this. So I feel for my man Shin so much, like I want to be able to help him, but I don't even know where to begin or how I should start helping, you know, someone like that. So, and like, I feel like characters like Grete, Ernst, Frederica, so many people are trying to look out for him, but he, like you can't help someone who doesn't want to help themselves, you know, and it just sucks so much. And I, I feel for them. They're in a horrible situation. Especially with Kiri and the luring them out and the whole fake plan last episode with them almost literally dying again Now we're pursuing them even even in deeper territory and Kiri's on them again So it's like what's gonna happen? It's getting super deep. It's getting so surreal. I am gonna be finishing the next Like next sesh in the final three episodes. So that'll be all in one video it's gonna be crazy I'm sure it's going to be, I don't know if, I don't think, I wonder if it's all going to wrap up or if it's going to set up for possibly season two. We haven't seen Lena in what feels like 17 episodes now. I don't know, man. This is so depressing. It's so deep. yet so profound and so symbolic at the same time. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I just wish there was a little more happiness. I can't lie. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget, if you guys want early access or full length, up to four episodes, check out that Patreon. Links are down below, like always. Don't forget to check out that Twitch, also early access and full length. You can watch that with us. Um, Twitch.tv slash Darius. Great community, great vibes. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys are able to know when I post. And drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.